Hi everyone, Lensman Oz here. Welcome to episode 19 of my Let's Play Pickle Pack Magical 2 series. Now, I said in the last episode that we will look for the Minotaur today. So, what I thought I'd do is, what I do each episode is I'll hand in the quests that I've done in between, um, explain what I've done, and then we'll go and fight that, or find the Minotaur. I might, um, I might just speed up the part where I'm searching through the maze. We'll see how we go. Right, so first off, the stuff we've completed uh, in Intermediate Magic. Um, I completed the Bronze Seeds quest. You can see here we have 1,024 in here. And I think I might have a couple of extra ones I've thrown in here. So we can hand that one in. We're going to get a, a ton more and some, some ingots. So we use this hopefully somewhere. Otherwise I'll turn it all into ingots. Walk through the door. Right. Uh, next one is the lead one. Same deal. Turn this into lead ingots. Go in there. And I've probably just done what I always do and thrown all my steak away. Oh, that's too full for them. Yep. Thrown all my steak back in the system. <laughs> Typical. Should be alright now that I've got that um, that feeding this little talisman, but it's always good to keep the food on me. Right, so that's all in there. The Certus Court seeds we are at 605, so it's going along quite nicely. Now nothing in that one. In Magical Mastery Part One, we have a bunch here. Uh, the first one being the Imperio Essence, which was to craft the strong infusion stone, which I've already done due to, you know, making some of these other higher tier es um, essences we required. So that was to craft the strong infusion stone and then make some Imperio Essence and we get Imperio block and some ingots, which is nice. And that will turn into... That's good. Let's put that in there for now. Now you can see oh, these ones are handmade. The orange and yellow are auto made down below, but the blue one I might. I'll probably add another crafting for that. Uh, let's see here. Next quest was to create two ingots, which I have done. And that gives us the next level. I'm going to need another barrel, another set of drawers. And that, you can see here I've made the sword so far. I need, think I need two more of these um, and a few of the lower level ones to make the tools. Um, I've also started on some of these seed quests because these only require three. Um, create three seeds. So I've made the three lapis, the three iron and three gold. Um, and I'll just work my way through making all those three because you've got to hand in and submit and you don't get to keep it. So submit 500 essence from each of these ones. So I've only just done that um, about five minutes before I started recording. So I've got 12, 12 lapis, 13 gold and I think looking here, yep the iron one's already started so I can put him in there. And I've just left that as a single level level set of drawers. Uh, I made the uh, emerald ones in between episodes so I can now create the emeralds I need for that um, completionist one with all the, uh, the the focuses for the laser drill. And yeah, I think that's the only other one that I made in between. So these will have to run through with the, the farms running the way they are before I can hand any of them in. Now we've got one here, it's to create the Master Infusion Stone, which again I've already done, and ooh, Wither Skeleton Seeds, that'll come in handy for getting Wither Skulls, so I can actually fight the Wither, I keep saying I'm going to, I will eventually. Um, so I've already got Emerald Seeds, I don't use the Seed Bag, so I'm taking those Wither, those wither Skeleton Seeds, and they can go straight in here and start to be used. 
Uh, the other one was to make, oh, again, that's the extreme one. So that's the one in between the master and the one we needed to make here. And then craft some, there we go. Right, so that's all of them. So I'll work towards making these up. You can see I've, I've made one. There we go, it says craft two. I could almost make another one. Probably could actually, and look okay, at that block of emerald. It's alright, spawn villager. Oh no, look, just submit a measly 250. <laughs> so I could make the seed, um, and uh, I don't have a draw for that yet. Make the seed and start crafting them, because I've got a hand in the 250 of them. Um, probably. I don't see one for the, the ender ones. I've, I made them for my own use though. Alright, so that's all on there for the moment. Nothing in there. Alright, in the completionist one, I've got the flowers done and I've turned off that system down there for the moment. I've turned off the, um, the timer. So it now no longer hits the drum and starts them. So it's just filled up its area. I think I definitely don't need flowers. I had to hand in a thousand of them, but you know, I've, I've got enough flowers here to keep me going. Orange and I think the orange and brown, I actually ran around and found a few more because it was taking too long. So I've done that one, and that gives us a nice chunk of mana steel. Eight blocks of terra steel, that's quite handy. And green heart canister. And we will claim them. Played twice, and there we go. That gives us another heart. That's definitely going to come in handy. Now the other one I did, and it was um, pointed out to me by by the comments that this is a really good source of diamonds and emeralds. And I tell you what, finding nether platinum was a pain in the backside. I literally wandered around the nether for ages trying to find that. So we can hand this one in and we will get ourselves another heart and then all these ores which we can um, I might convert these back to ingots and put them in here because it's a nice little, what have we got now? We've got 74 terra steel. I could make a full set of terra steel armor now. I'm not sure, not sure whether that's better than this or not. At least it'll, um, it'll heal itself. So I'm not sure whether it's better to cook these and get the two ore or run it through a pulverizer. So if through a pulverizer I get five dot emeralds and a chance of a bit of netherrack, which I don't need. If I cook it first, I get two emerald ore. And if I pulverize emerald ore, I get two. So that's four. So five by directly by directly pulverizing it is the better option, I think. I mean, there's obviously other ways of getting more out of it if I had rich slag, etc. Um, but I think, I think I might, oh, got stuff going through the I think I might just throw that in there. Um, I'm sure about, oh, a bit of lag there, where the diamonds are the same. Um, let's see here, five in the pulverizer. Same thing. So I'll throw the diamonds in there as well. Um, and platinum ore here. Too shiny from smelting it. Four, four pulverized shiny metal from running it through a pulverizer. Or It's the same thing. 
that could just go in there too. And that'll get smelted through. This will be full of emeralds. Nice. Very nice. 86 emeralds. These diamonds. So that was quite handy to hand that one in, definitely. So I've also been working on this one here. Now, I don't know if you guys can help me out with this one. I've been trying to find, I'm guessing this is Tem Tempestus, the storm-related aspect. I don't know of any way of actually creating that. Um, if I had Natura in the, in the pack, I could use clouds. I don't know of any items. I've, I've been Googling it. I can't seem to find anything at the moment. I'm trying um, mana beans to to get it. Um, I, I believe mana beans do breed. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's creeper out here somewhere. Where is he? Where are you, friend? Here you are. Take that. Your friend down there. Alright. Is that all of them? Stay out of my base. Alright. Now, I, I set up a very, very dirty mana bean farm in here. I uh, just thought I'd use, because this is a magical forest biome, um, I thought I would use just the wood off the ceiling here. I brought a lamp of growth. I brought a lamp of growth from the farm down there and then created another one to replace the one that I took. Um, and I just sort of moved this into somewhere where the, the golem could reach it. So, oh, that might be what we need. So, from what I gather, um, the storm one, Tempestus, where is it? Yep, this one here, is air and water. So from what I gather, if I put a water one and an air one next to each other, there's a chance that one of them will um, convert to being tempestuous. Let's let's double our chances here. We'll put a, a water one either side of the air one. So these. Just another way of trying to get some aspects up. Now I've just been placing them back up here and letting the lamp do its work. So, yeah, so if, if, if you guys know of another way of getting that aspect, I'm pretty sure that's the one that's required. As I said, it's you can't read which one's required here, but to find out which ones I had and hadn't done, all I did was... Um, typed it in here uh, and just sort of went through, yep, uh, and counted through until I found this one here. And that's the one I'm missing. Uh, it doesn't seem that we need any of the uh, ones that aren't part of vanilla formcraft. But yeah, this, this Tempest is, yeah, I can't seem to work out how to get it. I know you can craft it in here and I believe there's clouds in the Twilight Forest. I don't know whether they're going to work either. But as it is, that's where I'm at in regards to handing that quest in because that, that would be a nice little one as well. Another green heart canister. A few more of these quantum jars, which I could swap some of my jars out for because they hold 640 of each aspect, not just 64. And um, some void metal ingots. I'm not sure what they're for yet. Yeah, so that's pretty much all the quests I've handed in. Uh, all the ones I've done and needed to be handed in, I guess. So, with that, what I might do is we will jump. I've got the wand I need. Got a bit of food this time. I've got my flight pack if I need it. Um, I need a bunch more torches, so let's just knock up some more torches. And 
that. Oops. This jump boost thing is really annoying. Sometimes the um, particles are really dark like they just were and then you take it off, put it back on and they're, they're light again. It's coming from this angelic feather. It gives me jump boost apparently, but um, I think that's more or less just the, the fall damage uh, protection. All right, uh, all right, let's go. Now, as I said, there is a maze, I'm pretty sure, straight out from where we are now. Where am I? Show me where I am. Pretty sure we're on that, the dot. Right, there we are. So yeah, you can see straight above, straight between myself and the Hydra, there's a little greeny smudge. That is the maze we need to get to. So, let me guess these particles are dark. Yes. Let's try again. Um, so what we need to do is the scepter. To get into the swamp area, we need to cast the magic, apparently. It's all these. Oh, that's what it says in the. Okay, that's not working. Interesting. What was the book set thing? Uh, so I'm going to magical curse. Okay, well, and if you go into achievements. The Twilight Forest. It says use the magic of the Lich's Scepter to clear away poisonous mosquitoes in the swamp. Well, this is a Lich's Scepter. I don't know what that noise was. Um, so the Lich's Scepter. Okay, what I might do is I'm just going to cut here and see if I can work out what's going on. Back in a sec. All right, and I'm back. Now, what I what I ended up doing was just over, just over where my curse is pointing. Uh, there was another lich, so I kind of did the pity thing and threw on my my thermostatic harness and flew up to the top and defeated him. And I got his scepter, but and when I came back over here, it was all cleared. So I don't know whether that was a bug because I left the dimension before unlocking it, or or what. But all right, it's unlocked. That's the main thing. Um, and just through here, yep, there it is. There. So this this building, or this mound here, is the labyrinth. And you can see inside. There's a an area we need to go to. So these labyrinths are fairly involved. They you know, can be quite large. So what I might do here, and I don't think yeah, you can't. Oh, I can break it. It's just going to take forever. Yeah, you can you can break it. There's some that you can't. You can see it's a bit of a drop. So let's go. Okay. Straight into it. These things aren't very nice. Whoa. One fire. Alright, so pretty much it's just a big maze and um 
fun and games to try and find what you need. So I'm going to put a cut here and then I'm going to I'll record myself round here and I will might give you highlights. Alright, back in a tick.
Alright guys, and as you can see by the, the video there, we've found the the minute minus room. And I'm going to be a bit cheaty here and bite him through the fence. Because why do things the hard way if you don't need to? Have an arrow. How many hit points you got left, buddy? Oh yeah, not many. Come on, bring it on. Says I, fighting through a fence. <laughs> right. Have a look at his little lair here. Alright, let's see what we can uh, obtain. Uh, uh, just inventory space is out of control. There's heaps of stuff still floating around my feet. What have we got in here? Oh, there's the maze map focus I could have done with. The main thing I want is his axe. Let's see if I've got any more space in here to dump some stuff. We'll wander away, this way. There's his axe. Yeah. Got a few more. Nothing else floating around my feet? Awesome. So, I'm not sure whether I'm going to need any of these things to hand in, but it's always good to grab stuff when you need it. Um, it's that whole thing, you don't want to leave anything behind, and honestly, this, this is full of junk. What you get? And you. All this paintings and Let's throw a couple of these back in here. In you go. Don't need too much of this. Is that steel leaf? We look back now. A couple of maze focuses. Always come in handy. Alright. What I might do now is I'll, um, let's see what the book says. Quick look in the book. It'll be under amateur, wouldn't it? Go. Okay. Some mycelium and some beef stroganoff, etc. So after that would be the hydra, which I'm not going to do this episode. I'll, I'll do that in the next one, maybe, or we'll, we'll leave that for a, a later episode. At the moment, I, um, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here and I'll make my way back to the base and hopefully get some more of those uh, magical essence quests done in the meantime and continue on preparing ourselves for the next part of the Twilight Forest. Um, still got a bunch of machines I need to make. Kill a wither. Yeah, there's tons more to do. Tons more to do. No. I haven't even really started in this area. More blood magic. Draconic evolution. Tons to do. Alright guys. Um, catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.